Hey everyone and welcome. So on this video we're covering resource assignments as well as resource bookings. Now you might have heard that in version 3 of PSA resource bookings and assignments are only loosely coupled. Now what that means is we can actually assign resources on tasks without booking them. Now booking resources is something that we're used to from version 1 and version 2 of PSA and also the booking experience has changed in version 3. So let's jump into the system and see what version 3 looks like. All right so I'm here on task 1 and what I'll do here is I'll assign a resource on this task. So I'll click on the cell and I'll, jipe, I'll, I'll type uh, John Doe. He is a resource in the system. I'll select him and I have John Doe assigned on a task. Now if I look at resource reconciliation I can see that John Doe, and let's refresh it as well, I can see that John Doe has a booking shortage of four hours and this is because he's assigned on a task but he's not actually booked on it. So what I can do is I can select this cell right here, click on extend booking, and confirm it, and John Doe is now booked on that assignment as well. And the difference has been reconciled. So navigating to our schedule board and refreshing it, we can see that John Doe now has a booking for four hours. So next, let's, let's look at our project team and see what that looks like from the team perspective. We have John Doe as a developer, hard booked for four hours and assigned for four hours. Now, the role of developer comes from John Doe's default role, which is a developer, so that's why the default role has been assigned to him. All right, so next what we'll do is we'll create a booking based on a generic resource. So we'll come back to schedule and we'll pick task two. And what we'll do is we'll create a generic resource, a generic project team member. Let's call this a consultant or a role of consultant. And let's save it. So we have a generic resource of consultant for task two. Coming over to team and refreshing our grid, we can see that we have a generic resource for a role of consultant, which has been assigned for four hours. Now, we can't book this generic resource until we have a resource requirement. So I'll select the record, I'll click on generate requirement, and what happens is the system generates a resource requirement for this uh, for this generic resource. All right, so now what I can do is select it again and book an actual person against that generic uh, against that generic resource and the resource requirement. Let's give the schedule board a second to load. Let's choose the horizontal view. Always prefer to, I always prefer to book from that one. And let's choose for Thursday the 25th, which was the, the date for the for the task and the resource requirement. Let's book Jane Doe on that for four hours. go we can close the schedule assistant and now let's refresh this record see what our team members look like all right so we have Jane Doe booked as a consultant for four hours on the 25th all right so now under schedule we naturally have John Doe on task one, and now we have Jane Doe on task two. 
and under reconciliation view, we have everything looking just right. All right, so now if we look at the resource reconciliation view from another angle, we can come over to schedule and remove the assignment for Jane Doe. So let's remove her from the task. And now if we navigate back to the reconciliation view, we can see that Jane Doe has excess bookings for four hours. So we can see from the reconciliation view, we can see both booking shortages as well as excess bookings. All right, so I hope this brief video explained re the difference between resource bookings and resource assignments. And uh, I wanna thank you for your time and have a good one.